On this episode of Putting Possibility into Practice, we're talking about the 2019 Best in Class Most Improved Physician Practice Product. That would be energy. We'll hear from providers who use energy on a daily basis. We'll let you know how they use the product, what improvements they have noticed and have taken advantage of in their practice, and advice for other providers who may be thinking about incorporating energy into their practice. This is Putting Possibility into Practice, and it starts right now. I'm Joe Agostinelli, Social Media Manager at Greenway Health, and welcome to this episode of our podcast, Putting Possibility into Practice. We're talking about Intergy, the EHR and practice management solution offered by Greenway Health. Some recent accolades that uh, the product was recognized for, and we are talking with providers, two providers, two pediatricians, ironically, on how they use energy on a daily basis in their practice. If you are a returning listener, thank you for once again tuning into our podcast. And if you are a new listener, we'll have some information towards the end of our podcast episode on where you can subscribe to our podcast. And as I mentioned, we do have two providers here on the show with me. I want to welcome Dr. Mike Jordan and Dr. Sarah Kelly. Dr. Mike, I understand that you've been on the Intergy platform uh, for about 15 years now, correct? Yeah, we started our practice in um, August of 2004, and you know, at that time, I didn't think it was a good idea to start with a paper practice and then try and transfer it over. So we started with Intergy, and uh, it was Intergy 1.0 at the time, and um, there's no EHR. It was just kind of the practice management system, and there was um, you know transcription writer for the note taking part. And, you know, over the last uh, uh, 10 or 15 years, you know, there's been steady improvement and evolution of the software. And, you know, as the software has grown, our practice has grown, and it's been quite a uh, very kind of mutually beneficial partnership. And talk a little bit about over the past 15 years. I mean, obviously, a lot has changed in healthcare. A lot has changed with energy. How have you seen it uh, evolve in the last 15 years to stay up with the current trends in healthcare? Well, I think that, you know, they've always, you know, made improvements, you know, to the software and um, uh, adding certain um, aspects of the energy suite to our practice have, have allowed us to do certain things. Like we added practice analytics and that was very helpful as far as helping us meet the requirements for uh, becoming a patient centered medical home. Um, and, you know, and then just different, like, you know, obviously I use the EHR aspect of it more now than for instance, like the practice management side of it. But, you know, within the practice management side, they've had different, um, upgrades to the software where claims control and things like that, that allow us to do our billing more efficiently and the scheduling are always, you know, they've changed or added or upgraded the way scheduling can be done. We've added, you know, our, um, uh, patient portal, which has given us uh, the ability for our patients to access us, you know, outside of the office. And that has allowed us to, you know, streamline our prescription refills and reporting of labs and things like that. So, I mean, all of these different things have uh, kind of kind of stacked on top of each other over the last uh, 10 or 15 years. And, um, you know, we've been able to kind of keep up with the different requirements, whether it's for meaningful use or patient settled medical home, things like that. And talk a little bit about, you know, if a practice or a provider was considering incorporating energy into their practice, what advice would you give them? Well, I think one of the reasons I chose Intergy was because of its longevity and that it's kind of um, been around for a long time as kind of starting as medical manager and then kind of morphing into Intergy. You know, the fact that it's kind of right outside of Gainesville didn't hurt either. And... um, I think that uh, we've had a lot of, um, you know, the, the the fact that I know that's that they're going to be there and the customer support's there, the the, the service is going to be, um, can, is going to be very high level, you know. So every time we have any interaction with um, uh, the company Greenway, whether it's for uh, support or another customer service issue or billing or um, we need hardware support. You know, they're always very um, quick to respond to our needs and really want to help us solve any problems that we may have. And as we talk about the evolution of uh, energy, it was recently um, recognized as a, as a 
improved product uh, you know by, by physicians for the class award you know have you seen that over the the past year or so the improvements to energy and and I'll, I'll back that up with if you could make improvements down the road in mm -hmm. the next generation you know what would it be yeah I think that you know the the um, the the software developers are very interested in what the um, their customers have to say and I think they they want to make a product that their customers want so you know they're very uh, there's always opportunities to either you know uh, work through um, mock-ups of the product you know there's the um, uh, on the Greenway community you can make um, suggestions, you know, as far as, hey, these are things that are important to us. And I think they take those things seriously. You know, every, everyone can kind of vote on the different issues that they think are important, and those things are uh, incorporated into the new versions. Um, and so, you know, I think that there have been, you know, improvements steadily throughout the, um, uh, the rollouts of different uh, versions of Intergy, and um, I think as moving forward, going uh, into new uh, territory and different improvements that could be made, you know, as a pediatrician for me, always the um, ability to, um, you know, really fine tune the, the vaccine and immunization tab and record keeping uh, within the software would, would be something that I would really hope they focus on. And, um, and, and uh, you know, as a, as a pediatrician, you know, so much of our time and energy is spent into administering vaccines, purchasing vaccines, storing vaccines, um, you know, the ability to have an easy way to keep records of that and to keep track of the vaccines that we own and use um, is um, really critical and can really help us um, report on, okay, hey, how many flu vaccines are we going to need this year? Well, you can use this many private, this many vaccines for children's uh, uh, flu vaccines. And, you know, having that kind of automated and maybe integrated into like an inventory system, um, you know, all those different things where, you know, you can really make it so there's a lot, you know, there's not a lot of cognitive load involved in trying to figure out what to do with all your vaccines, that it's just kind of automated. Those kind of things I think would be very helpful. Um, you know, and I've made suggestions in the past for like a dosing calculator for pediatricians, you know, you know, because when we're doing, um, medications, it's always, you know, how many milligrams per kilogram, and then you got to convert it into, uh, you know, the solution that how many, you know, how many milligrams are in a solution, so how much does the kid need, and, you know, it'd be nice to be able to say, okay, I want to use amoxicillin, and I want the dose to be set at 80 milligrams per kilogram, and then when I see Johnny, he's got an ear infection, and he weighs, you know, 25 pounds, I just say, I want this favorite, and then it does all that calculation and spits it out, and then, you know, I won't have to worry about that. You know, mm -hmm. over the years, I mean, obviously, you, as, you know, that stuff kind of, you, you know those numbers, yeah. but at the same time, it'd be nice just to not have to think about that mm -hmm. all the time either, you know. Take that off our plate. Awesome. Well, thank you for your uh, input on energy, and we appreciate you taking time on our, on our podcast once again, Dr. Jordan. Absolutely, anytime. And I am joined by Dr. Sarah Kelly. She is a uh, physician with Health Choice Network. And Dr. Kelly, thank you for taking time out of your day to join us on our podcast. Sure, yeah. And uh, talk to us just a little bit about where you're in practice, the specialties, and, and uh, what you see on a daily basis. Yeah, so um, I'm a pediatrician by trade. I work for uh, Community Health Centers of Pinellas. We are a member of Health Choice Network, so we belong to that conglomerate organization that um, helps us on a variety of levels, but I work in Pinellas County, Florida. Um, I primarily see patients out of our Pinellas Park location, but our um, organization has 11, almost 12 locations all across the county. And um, how long have you been in healthcare? So I have been with Community Health Centers of Pinellas almost seven years now. It was my first job out of residency, so including residency, I guess, almost a decade. Oh, wow. <laughs> Uh, and you talk about, uh, you use energy on, yes. a, on a daily basis. Uh -huh. So, um, you know, what are the challenges providers face today when it comes to technology and patient care? Sure. So, you know, technology is obviously meant to make our lives easier, but sometimes it can gum things up a little bit just from the natural processes of working with computers and systems go down and we seem like we're flying in the dark sometimes because we utilize those so much that when we don't have them to rely on, then it seems like we don't know anything about anything when, when stuff goes down. So 
Um, and then just the natural flow sometimes with patients gets a little um, uh, difficult if you, when we're utilizing technology because that takes away that interaction, that patient engagement sometimes. So you have to make a um, you know specific uh, activities or, or interventions to make sure that you're actually engaging with your patient instead of staring at your computer screen the whole time. And how do you use Intergy on a daily basis? So it's our EMR. So I use it from start to finish all day long. So I'm charting patients in there. I'm ordering things. I'm documenting phone calls, um, reviewing tasks and images. I'm ordering uh, medications, sending those to the pharmacy, refills, you name it. And so now from the provider perspective, what do you like most about the, uh, the platform and the solution that you have? Yeah, so I think as far as um, it giving you the basics and it being fairly easy to pick up, um, you know, at my organization, I do a lot of provider training. So I'm working with providers fresh out of school and providers that have been out of school for a long time. So I may not be as computer savvy. It seems like most everybody can pick up energy pretty well. Um, once you kind of get an orientation to the basics of things, that it's fairly intuitive and you kind of know where things are. And what changes have you seen over the, the past year? It was recently honored as the most uh, improved physician prod, uh, product by class. What have you seen over the last year uh, on the improvement side of energy? So, you know, they've been making a, a lot of improvements, um, you know, with the medication module. I think that the, the being able to pull in and some of the interfaces with the pharmacy and, and, and those types of things have helped a lot. So being able to tell when your medication has made it to the pharmacy, if it's in the queue or if it's been rejected, uh, being able to pull in some of the insurance claims and knowing whether or not that medication is actually filled by the patient and picked up at the pharmacy, that that's been a really nice um, tool, being able to pull in medications that are prescribed outside of your organization as well through insurance claims, I think was a huge um, game changer to be able to know that my patient went to the emergency room and got this prescription mm -hmm. from another doctor. So now for the next 24 hours, I'm going to put you in charge of the path to <laughs> innovation and help, you know, hands-on help develop the, uh, the next uh, generation EHR and practice management solution. What from your view um, would you like to see in, in, in that in that product? Yeah, I, I really feel like the wave of the future is kind of um, predictive ordering or predictive having some clinical decision help there where the, um, the system would be smart enough to know that based on some of the, the things that's in the patient chart, care conditions or whatnot, that these next steps are likely to need to happen. And then you as a, as a physician or provider can decide which of those are, are going to become your orders for the day. Um, so using more kind of artificial intelligence or predictive ordering um, and order sets and things like that to kind of guide the care of the patient in a more meaningful and time efficient way, I think is where, where I would choose to spend my time. And what advice do you have for other providers um, who are faced with the decision of um, the solution that they have in their office and and maybe considering energy as one of those. Yeah, so I think energy is a great like um, tool for um, for getting just the the basics done. Basically, like I said, it's really easy to learn. I think anybody on any level of of learning can can manage it, um, and it is also a really great tool for um, pulling data too. I think that it works well with some of the um, other things that are available from GreenRay, like um, PA dashboards. Um, and things like that to be able to pull data from your patient population. Um, so I think that if those are the things that you're looking for, that it's a good tool for you. Well, thanks for all the uh, great details and information, and thanks for taking time out of your day to join us on our podcast. Of course. And I want to thank both my guests, Dr. Sarah Kelly, who you just heard from, and Dr. Mike Jordan, who you heard from a little earlier in this podcast episode on, for sharing their thoughts on Intergy and how they use it on a daily basis and how their practices use the solution on a daily basis. For more information on Intergy, I invite you to visit our website at www.greenwayhealth.com. And as I mentioned earlier in our podcast in the introduction, if you have not yet subscribed to our podcast, I certainly invite you to do so. You can do so on your platform of choice, and we're on a number of them. We are on Apple iTunes, Google Play Podcast, FM.Player, Stitcher, SoundCloud, 
Lipson, Spotify, TuneIn Radio, iHeartRadio, and look for additional platforms coming soon. I'm Joe Augustinelli, the Social Media Manager at Greenway Health, and this has been another episode of our podcast, Putting Possibility into Practice. Thanks for listening.